Hey there, Boots Owen here. This is a Beko 7KGB, let's find the number, DTGC7000W. It's a tumble dryer, it's a condenser dryer. The drawer on the condenser is empty. Down here, there's a thing called a condenser unit. So we open these two red things and have a look at that. It looks quite clean doesn't look to be used very much if you see there's light at the end of those tunnels what's in here looks okay a bit of moisture but that's not anything to worry about offer that back in and snap that shut so something in here there's it looks like there's a filter or something in there because it's a pretty snotty um, look there it's the air intake so there's a screw there and I could open that up but I don't think that's going to be an issue if it's dirty I don't really think there is a filter. Let's open here. Door snaps open. There's your filter. It's got a bit of stuff in it. Um, snap this like this. Tissues. What's that? Some kind of a napkin or something there. Serviette, a paper serviette or something like that. Let's give that a wipe out. Not a big deal that could be out of one or two loads it looks like it's been scraped clean in the past but ultimately it's quite clean in there down as far as the condenser there's some numbers there might give people a clue on a year code 2009 perhaps is that what that means or 2017 i don't know these things made in arcelic tumble dryer plant in is that Turkey? We should have a better look at that. At a Turk. My geography is not good enough for that. Right, let's have a go. There's nothing in it. Oh, it has a electrical safety test. So a PAT test from 2021. So that's less than a year ago, because this is now, no, it's more than a year ago, slightly. There's another one beneath it, uh, 2021, it's now September 2022. 10 minutes. It seems to be working. This is one I found on the street. Someone had left it out. Presumably a rented house because of the PAT test, the electrical safety test. People tend to get those on things that are rented houses. I have it running on a coil of wire which is not a great idea because that can heat up but I'm not planning on running it for very long so I'm not too worried about it. I'm expecting an error code so I'll leave it and see what happens. It's been on for maybe two minutes now. I would expect to feel a bit of heat around the back here but I don't, not yet. I have noticed there's a drip of water down here and that could be from me moving it. It could also be that the pump is blocked up. Sometimes some of these guys, there's a pump down there that pumps the water up to here to the reservoir tank. If that sub pump gets blocked or gummed up, it's a very small pump. If a tiny bit of fluff or something goes into it and it gets blocked, well then that can be that and the thing won't pump up and then it can be thrown out for that. I don't know if I'll find that error on a 10 minute cycle. It's a very clean machine. It's like, it's got dust on it, but you know, it's not scraped, banged or damaged free one year guarantee, that's generous of them. We'll stay with it. So it's taken about maybe 10 minutes, but probably more like five or six. I think that's end, I think that's tumble, I don't know. Um, that looks like filter, that looks like condenser, and that looks like the drain tank. So there's a bit of water in it, not much. Maybe that was pumped up from below because I don't I don't remember there being any in it before. So, so there. All right, and filter. Now opening the door has reset that and has also turned on a courtesy light. But this thing is ice cold. Sounds like element to me. Let's see. Yeah, that's okay. If it's ice cold, it's probably the element. Element. I think they come on every time because they want you to do those things every time. Okay. 
well, then it's the job of looking at the element. So I'm around at the back now, and what I was thinking was it could also be the thermal cutout or thermal fuse. But once I've turned it around, I've noticed that the back screws, quite a few of them are missing. So let's have a look inside. So I've finished taking off the rest of the screws, and here's the back. And there's a bit of moisture in it. It looks okay. It's very clean. The fan, we heard that working. Here is... Oh, when I pressed that, it clicked. That's the thermal cutoff there. And this is the element. So one of them is resettable, the red one, and then the next one is a non-resettable one. So the power for the elements, the heating elements in there, has to go through both of those before it can heat the elements. And there's a part number there. Um, if I turn this around, then everybody can see it. 297-668-0200-7721438. A 1600 watt and a 700 watt. Presumably gives a combined wattage of two and a half kilowatts. I'll put the multimeter on it and we'll see what we get. So I'll set that to resistance. If it's one, it's open circuit. If it's not, it's closed circuit. Let's peel these back a little bit. And test here and here. Actually, I think I could just do it off the top of those rivets. We're getting continuity, so that should be working. This one is trickier. I don't know how you test that. That's a thermal fuse there. You test it by hot wire and it closed. That's potted, so I can't get in there. Um, let's have a look at this machine here. Very short screws, two of them. It's just a shame now if I manage to fix this or if it was the resettable fuse that this, um, this unit, well, it's very clean, damp, but very clean. It's just a shame, what was I gonna say? It's just a shame that they've lost all the screws. Um, the fact that I heard that click when I turned it on means that it may well be that. I'll get a cloth, give it a wipe for no particular reason other than to clean off this lint and put it back together and try it again. It really is a very clean machine. Let's hook this, it has two hooks. Where are they? There, so it has to hook on and then be screwed in. While I was cleaning out down around here with the cloth, with the rag, I notice this thing and it just pulls out, but uh, it looks like some kind of a vent and it's gummed up, so I'll get a stick and clean that out. A screwdriver ought to do it. It's just got some sticky wet lint in it. You could rinse this out under a tap as well, in fact. Oh, let's just force that in there. A smaller screwdriver will be better, but it's all coming out with this one. Right, and what's in here? A little bit more. Presses in. Um, here. There's a tiny bit of lint. Look, I've seen... I've seen elements like this completely, completely choked up with um, fluff. And that fluff then has been charred. So the machine, you know, has kind of looks like it has attempted to go on fire. This one hasn't, it's not in anywhere near that condition. So if we could get it clean and dry, we should be rocking. So I'll offer that up and I'll put the screws in that I have and maybe find a few more. It has two types of screws, one with a big flange. That one goes on the plastic bits where it's fixed to the plastic all around the bottom and then the tin ones go, or the smaller ones, go to the tin work. And there's a couple of locator pins, just, just one here and one on the other side. They help you when you're putting it together. I'll go and find some more screws and tidy this up. So I've put all the screws back in that came with it and fitted, finished it off by putting in a few more. Put it on to 30 minutes and press start. Sounds like it's working again. Hard to know 
we'll wait and see what's coming with that um, cut off fuse after a few minutes I'll check if it's warm inside I think that's the easiest thing just open the door and check or keep a hand just see touching the back to see if it's heated up while I'm waiting for that to heat up just check what's in here one screw and this pop out or something is there another screw no there's a tab there that should have been clipped here's some kind of a silencer I would say is what it is I think that's that's the air blowing out it's still coming out cold unfortunately so I guess I can pull that out yeah it's a silencer of some kind and it's just got fluff on it lint that's it's more dust actually really that's that's gone through the thing I don't know if you really need to clean that but you could just a little bit in it this is quite tricky to refit actually it's got a ridge that it has to fit within inside so you've got to push it in quite carefully here I wonder what will clean this of course maybe you could go through that you could put that on, under the sink with a bottle brush and just go through it completely I don't know if I'll bother until I figure out if this machine's working so to get it back in clip those in and then snap that top bit in one screw I've never seen a silencer on a machine like that before. So in the two minutes that it's taken me to heat check that silencer, I can't put my hand here anymore, it's too hot. I think, I think we've cracked it, you know? It's a disgrace. If somebody's been in there trying to see what's wrong with it and they haven't noticed that red thing, well, there you go. I'll give it another minute, or five. So it's had about 10 minutes and I'm not going to wait any longer. Now that's that's appreciably hot if you want to call it that it's it's quite warm i can tell that at least one of those elements is working so that's pretty good that's that little courtesy light on up there it must be it must be inside the door actually that comes on when the door is opened i'm quite pleased with this you know becco ultimately it does beep i guess you could turn off the buzzer can you yeah, you can turn off the buzzer, that's kind of good. And you can set a timer for when it's ending, so that's kind of clever as well. That's more useful, I think, than those delayed start ones. It's a delayed ending, and it's got a child lock. Great, I think we've cracked it. I think it was that thermal reset. I'd be happy to use this now. In fact, that's exactly what I might do. Questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks for watching, see you later.